Here we have a Samuel Power Solar River Inverter and this model here is an SR4K4 TLA1 which is a 4 kilowatt Samuel Solar River Inverter. Now you can see the red indicator, the red fault indicator light is lit here and we look on the screen it says consistent fault. So at the moment this inverter has a fault condition and is not working at all. So if your inverter is doing this, yeah, just know that it's not working at all. And the best thing to do to uh, first up is to try rebooting the system. A uh, reboot might, might fix the error, might make, uh, clear the error. And uh, so we'll do, try that now. So with uh, rebooting a solar inverter, it's always important that you follow the shutdown procedure. And we've got a shutdown procedure here, which is turn off the solar supply main switch. That's usually located in your switchboard or the inverter AC isolator. Now, in this case, we've got an inverter AC isolator here, so we're gonna turn that one off. And then we follow on, turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. So that's on the other side here. So we'll just turn this one off here. And that will shut down the inverter. You can see on the screen, there's nothing on, uh, going on there and what we'll leave, do is leave that for a few moments and then we'll try rebooting the system so let's uh, with, with rebooting a system a solar system it doesn't matter which order you turn things back on it's just important on the shutdown procedure so we'll just turn on the DC and we'll turn on the AC and see what happens if, if that actually clears the consistent fault or not but now you can see on the screen the uh, red fault light still up and it's still coming up with consistent fault. So in this case, it's uh, going to be a warranty claim with the manufacturer. The Samuel inverters have a five-year warranty as standard. So if, uh, if you're having a consistent fault come up on the screen and it's within five years since it was installed, you should be able to get it covered under warranty. If it is outside of warranty, well, the best thing to really do is replace the inverter with a new model. And uh, we can certainly help you that here, with that here at Gold Coast Solar. If you do have this uh, issue and it is still under warranty and you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland, uh, Gold Coast Solar can certainly help you. If you're not on the Gold Coast or Brizzy, um, I recommend talking to your local solar power experts. But in this case here, we've got the consistent fault. Now, if you are making a warranty claim, one thing that you will need is the serial number of the inverter. And if we have a look on the uh, left-hand side of the inverter here, you'll see the serial number there. We've got Samuel Power, uh, the model of the inverter, and the serial number in the inverter. So that's just very important for making any warranty claim. So look, thank you for watching this video. I hope that's been helpful. And uh, I'm sorry to hear that you've got a... Uh, a consistent fault on your Samuel Solar River, but at least you know what to do about it now. Thanks very much.